uh, we want to talk about a uh, 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 LeBron James, but LeBron James Jr. Uh, Mr. LeBron James Jr. Bronny James, we all know him. He was a freshman at USC this season. He is entering himself into the NBA draft, but also entering into the transfer portal uh, in college, basically meaning he's going to be working out for teams, taking meetings for teams, see what his draft stock is like. Worst case scenario, if they don't like what they're hearing or he doesn't get drafted, he has the option to go back and play. But, of course, for another team because he doesn't want to be a USC anymore. When I first read the headline, I thought this is kind of crazy because he didn't play that well this year. Now, I'm going I'm to cut him some slack because he had a crazy health scare. Um, which, you know, nobody's going to come off something like that and just be hooping right away. That's just not going to happen. I think health is number one. Glad he's actually moving and shaking. And he, in fact, even got to play basketball this year is great. But, you know, just looking at the numbers and the playing time, it didn't look like, you know, he'd be somebody who's going to be, you know, who's going to be NBA drafted. So first I thought it was crazy, but then I read the entire thing about it. And I like it. I think it makes sense for a couple of reasons. One, your father's LeBron James. We can sit up here and lie all we want. There might be a team out there that drafts him just because they might have a chance at the LeBron James farewell tour. Nothing that LeBron and his camp do isn't calculated. Everything they do is calculated. Um, he's been saying for years that he wants to play with his sons. Uh, is the unnecessary pressure? 100%. But that's just part of what it is. And he's even talked about retirement over these last couple of weeks, saying that I don't know how much longer I got in me, maybe one or two years left. So he's been floating that out there. Maybe this is a possibility where somebody uh, drafts Bronny just for the prospect of maybe having LeBron as, you know, on their team for the for real, farewell to it. He has a player option this offseason, if I'm not mistaken, where he can decide what his next path is going to be. Is he going to, you know, stay in Los Angeles and move on? This is all things that really matter. Now, is it something that benefits Bronny in that perspective? If a team just drafts him just because they want his daddy? No. But I do think that's part of it. But I think it's also a way to look at, well, see what these other teams are thinking. What do they think about his game? Is there a plan to uh, grow him even if LeBron is there or when LeBron does retire and they are on the same team? What's that going to be like? And if LeBron and his team don't like what they're hearing, he can just go to another college and try again. So from that perspective, I just look at it as Bronny keeping all his options open. And I personally don't have a problem with it. I think this is cool. I just hope that if he does go – to an NBA team, that there is actually a plan in place for him to actually grow and become a, a decent player. I don't think he'll be, uh, you know, great or anything like that, but I do think it's, it's, it's a good move. Pat, what you think about this? Um, I, I think it's a good decision. Um, for one, I think that, you know, uh, obviously, like you mentioned, there's um, health scare. So, you know, you're not going to – you're probably not going to – I mean, the fact he even, again, played actual college, college basketball this year, this year, I think is a, a something that should be commended on um, his part, but he's been bred to be a pro since the second the man first picked up a basketball because his father was LeBron James. So I think he has a pretty good idea of how to be a professional athlete. So big in college, maybe didn't even fit him that well. Like, I mean, you, I'm Brian James, son, you got me going to class, bro. What are we doing? I don't want to go to class. I just want to hoop. Or I just want to do X, Y, Z. I don't have to do that. And I think that, um, you know, I've heard, granted, I'm not going to sit here and say I watch mad USC games, but from what I know about Bronny, he doesn't seem to be more of a star. He seems to be more of a guy who could be like, let's say, for a lack of better terms, like a Patrick Beverly type guy, like a Grayson Allen type guy, like one of those guys. Josh who, Hart. Yeah, like Josh Hart, like the guys who can come in and help your team, but he really depends upon the other players that are around him. Like he's not going to be the superstar. So I don't think that college basketball in general – was the best place for him because those guys kind of get lost in the um, shuffle. Usually in college, unless you're like a dominating ball handling guard, you're like a big like DJ Burns or you was a flat out bucket getter, you're kind of going to get a little bit lost in the sauce or um, your stats may not look as good as somebody else whose game might not even translate as well to the league long term as yours. So um, and then granted, you got the uh, clutch machine behind you. All he got to do is have a couple good workouts People go out there and say, "Oh, we think he can be a he can be a key role player, a star role player for years to come." Somebody will take a shot on him second round, or even if he doesn't get drafted, he can be a two way guy. He can he can get the chance to grow. Um, I think that he'll at least obviously because of his father probably he'll at least get the chance to play in the NBA. Now, how long he plays in the league, um, that's solely up on him. Like I think like what, even when I heard about it, I was like, "Yo, if he can have a Wesley Matthews type career, that is perfect." And um, that would be a complete um, win 
for the James family and for him. So I think it's a good decision. I'm like I said, I just don't think that college basketball was probably the best thing for him. And I think that again, he's been he's been bred to be a pro. So I think that when he gets to the next level, and I think he will get to the um next level, I think that eventually he will fare better in the um NBA than he did in um college ball. I just want to make a quick uh com- not combo, I got correction. I beat I said in the chat that Bronny has to May first. Well, May first is when the is when the portal uh closes, but he has till May 29th to make a decision of whether he's going to maintain his college eligibility or uh, going to the NBA draft. So basically gives him about two months to go through the process and things like that. Um, of course, we all know the uh, the uh, draft lottery will be uh, before that time. So he still gives him enough time to take meetings. And, 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 yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> got to worry about the lottery. He ain't yeah, he about, worry about, he don't even need to. He don't even need to watch the show. He don't need to worry about the lottery. Ain't nothing going on up there. Ain't nothing going on there for you, dog. Then paper on his player haters old news. Money on the other line, so I'm not gonna hold you. Money on the other line.